here's the the papilla. Okay, that's a female. It's basically the clitoris of uh, a female. Uh, the, wow. no, they no, don't no. have a vagina. Isn't that their butt? No, that's the anus right yeah. there. Uh, this part here is the clitoris. And then you got an opening right down there for the vagina, right below it. Oh, okay. Okay? So vagina is the opening from the outside world. It's where the penis goes in to deliver the semen. All right? Now, I don't know if I can find the ovaries on this little guy, little girl, because they're still going to be so tiny. But we'll see what I can do. So you need to be able to look at both the males and the females and, and show see the different structures. Can you show us a male too or well, I'm gonna leave you all to look these up. Alright. Oh, here we go. This little structure right there? That's an ovary. Alright? That little yeah, thing that's that between my thumb and my finger, that's an ovary. That's what's going to have all your eggs. And with females, all of our eggs are produced before we're ever born. Whereas males, sperm is made every day. Once you reach puberty, sperm is made every day in the testes. Right? So connecting to <clears throat> that ovary are these tubules. These tubules are called the ovary oviducts or fallopian tubes, whichever one you want to call them, and then they go down to the uterus. Let's see if I can find the uterus in here. So you got a right and a left one, so here, coming down in here, coming together. Oh, come on. Here, but okay, there's the other ovary. Here's the other ovary. Okay, because this is a fetal pig, it's not going to be well developed. But where these two come together, right down here, that's going to be the feet. Uh, sorry, the uterus, which is where the fetus develops. Okay. Hmm. All right. So in the male, you're going to have the penis. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go all over it. You're on the back or? Yeah, i got to see on this other side first. Is there anything else we need to know? Vagina showed you. Yeah. Urethra and the vagina come together. Okay. So, <clears throat> God, I don't even know what to find this. That's going to be tough. I'm just looking for where the vagina and the urethra come together. So if this is a male, the penis is used not only to deliver the sperm into the vagina, but it's also with the urethra, which is the structure that goes from the urinary bladder. Then you got another tube called the urethra that sends the urine to the outside world. Well, in a penis, the urethra connects to the penis, so the penis is used both for urination as well as for reproduction. Now you can see right here, this is the uterus. Where? Right here. This little tissue where you see this tube coming off, lopin tube going off there, that lopin tube going off there. That right there is the uterus. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it might have been easier to do it from the back.
So this goes on down in here, right to all the way to the vagina. Okay, I'm trying to follow. Let's see if I can find. All right, see this tube right here? You're reading a popcorn. That goes up to your reader from the from kidney. You see what comes in right here? Down here, your urethra, just like with the female of the male, the urethra and the vagina is where you're going to get the release of the urine. Right there. Mm -hmm. okay. What else did you have to know? All right. So in a male, um, of course, you've got the penis on the outside. Like I said you've got the urethra that connects in there. You've got the testes where all the sperm are made, right? And also testosterone is produced. So let's start on the brain. 